Well, we've done it once again. We've come complete circle and uh, yeah, we're back to the what if mods and uh, guess what guys? This one is what if France won World War One? I? I know I thought the what if Russia won World War One was a uh, really really specific, but no What if France won World War? They they just won. I mean personally I just don't think the French could win a modern military engagement against a paper bag let alone, you know, winning the entirety of World War One on their own. I mean personally I, I'm just up for anything that's not artillery only at this point. I, I am I, I am done with that one for a while. Well, I, I know for definite one thing, if France won World War One Everything would just be a different color. Oh, you thought the situation in Northern Ireland was bad in our reality? Well, uh, <laughs> the French had something else up their sleeve, apparently. Okay, so when I see a mod that's got like a random country being really big, all I can imagine is that one of the dev team is probably from that country, because I can't quite wrap my head around why France winning World War One would somehow mean Colombia looks like this. Oh, but thankfully we don't have to play the game of where's angry Italian man, because he's here from the start and... Oh, actually, okay, I can understand that one. You did good there, mod developer. Thank you very much. Yeah, no Yugoslavia this time around, though. Just the kingdom of greater Serbia, because as you know... God is a Serb. You can see they put a lot of effort into Austria when they couldn't think of a communist name for it, so they just went with the Workers' Union. It's also led by, like, a really sweaty, greasy man who kind of looks like the human equivalent of a butthole. So what I can gather from the lore is that France won World War I so well that they thought, hey, we're just going to take half of Germany, which they do. They actually have Bavaria and the Rhine in their, oh God, dare I say, Union. Of Europeans. So there's only a couple of nations that really have focus trees and starting off we get this one that gives us minus 10% consumer good factories which uh, is very good and Germany right now is democratic led by Paul von Hindenburg but uh, we're, we're gonna need to change up a few things about Germany right now. Now Russia is still in their civil war I don't know if it's just started or not but what I do know is that I'm pretty sure they've just stolen a bunch of these like our assets from other mods <laughs> but you, you know what Fair enough. I also noticed down here in the Caucasus, we've got ourselves a special little friend. So we've got an election event, and after hovering over a couple of them, it, it appears that I don't really have any option other than the top one because, um... They haven't finished it yet, which means we now have Ludendorff in control, and if I know my history, he, he doesn't really have long left to live. Well, we don't have Mr. Schmittler, but we do have... Oh god. Yeah, I think we just went 0 to 100 pretty damn quick over here in Germany. So the Treaty of Paris is basically our Treaty of Versailles in this universe, which means I can now actually justify wars. I'm immediately gonna go take out Fishlips and McGee over here. Oh, but I ask why are you immediately justifying wars against independent communist countries? Well, it's simple. When we declare war, we can actually go ahead and give ourselves a decision, which um, it, it gets rid of all the bad things about our country, and boy... They were really bad. But there you go, guys. War does pay. Well, that communist doctrine's really working out quite well for them, actually, because they're doing all the work for me. Well, that's the Austrians basically done with, and a lot of free land for me. Oh, God, it's actually one of the most beautiful and yet completely disgusting things I've ever seen. Oh, and if you wonder what's going on in the Civil War... I, I don't think anything's actually changed in the two years we've been playing. So I have a national focus, which basically just gives me all of Denmark for free. I could either just take Schleswig-Holstein, or I could just, you know, take everything for 100 political power. I don't know which one you guys would pick, but I know which one I just did. So now we're going to do the referendum on Angelus, but it's not on Austria this time. It's actually on the Rhineland, which, um, let's just say I got an inside guy who might, you know, favor us. Ah, yes, a democratic referendum on whether or not another country should be annexed into another one where uh, the leader's actually being paid off by another uh, yeah, you don't need to know. So we also get all of their troops, and this is 78 infantry divisions, but I don't actually think I'm going to use them. I'd prefer just to have that in my stockpile. Because I'm lazy. Well, it only took like four years, but the Russian Civil War is finally over, and considering they don't have a focus tree, that's all we're going to hear from them for the rest of the game. Now, so far what I've noticed is because there's not quite enough focus trees in the game, I can basically just declare war on anyone, and nobody is actually going to stop me. It is quite literally free Lebens round. So I could free the Lithuanians, which uh, I don't need to do, but you know what? I've taken so much land, I should probably, you know, give a bit of it out at this point. Yep, I, uh, I'm still just declaring war on all these nations. Nobody is here to stop me. 
Even the French, who apparently are all so powerful and strong, they're just like, nah, I ain't dealing with that. I mean, I'm gonna be real with you guys right now. Sure, my country looks completely disgusting, but it's pretty damn good. It's just, it's a bit of a mess. Oh, well, that's something I didn't want to see. I thought I might actually end up fighting the British, but no, not this time around. Apparently, they elected Mosley in control, so, um, that, uh, I don't know, I, this is gonna be too easy. Yeah, I don't think many countries are reading the newspaper because resisting me is the equivalent of a death sentence in this scenario. Yeah, I, I'm actually just invading Bulgaria to get to Turkey. This is the around the Maginot of this scenario. I, me invading- oh. What? <laughs> Why did Bulgaria- wait, I capitulate Bulgaria that also took Turk- what? Well, Ludendorff survived way longer than he did in real life and now we get- oh god. Oh. Oh, yeah, of course. Rommel! Rommel is now in charge! Why not? Yeah, I, okay, I wasn't expecting that one. This is the first war in the whole game that I haven't started, and it's between... Oh, my God, the leader of Japan's a ghost. Um, wasn't expecting that one. Yeah, I'm gonna take my mind off of that by invading the Netherlands. Um, I think the Netherlands might actually join their faction too. Yeah, there we go. And Italy wants to join my faction immediately. I don't know if I sure why not get in here, Italy. There's nothing bad you could do. But uh, oh yeah, everyone's joining now. But will they? None of them have joined the war. Oh, Belgium joined, but not France. We're still waiting on France. Yeah, yeah France never joined. Um. Okay, I, I just got all this land for, for- France is letting me eat their goddamn faction. Why, why- why are they being so French? Come and fight me, France! I just declared war on Bavaria, and they still did- they didn't get involved. Uh, the, I mean, they would lose. I can understand why they're not joining. They- they really know they're gonna lose, but come on, France! You see, you can't surrender if you're never at war! Yeah, sorry about that, France. I am just gonna go ahead and declare war on you anyway. And yeah, I know, it's real joined up. Ah, oh, I... Okay, uh, so now I've also gotta go all the way over here and deal with Japan. Ah oh, yes, the great European Union between France, Israel, and Japan. Yeah. So this is, I'm assuming, why they didn't bother to join the wars against me. Something... Something like this, I imagine. Oh, and I, I just realized that, of course, Franco, he's still around every single month. He's got to worm his way. So we got France and Israel, but, uh, i got to come all the way over here to deal with Japan. Yeah, I, I'm just going to go ahead and go through China. Like, what, what's going to happen? They're going to join the European Union? Well, don't worry, you'll fit in with Israel and Japan. Ah, nothing like trying to invade Japan in 1944 when all they've done is sit around building crappy infantry. Right, that's it. If I'm, I'm voting Brexit. I'm never dealing with the European Union again. So I was gonna leave it there, but uh, I, 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 I noticed that there's this little button down here to do a uh, annex on the Soviet Federal Republic, and uh, I feel like we should probably give it a go. Now, the Soviets, they do actually have around the same amount of troops as me. Um, I have noticed they've got some medium tanks and light tank divisions out, and I've got 283, they've got up to 471, so this might actually be a bit of a fight. Well, in we go. We'll see how well Barbarossa goes in this scenario where France won World War I, but um, I, I'm still doubtful that the Soviets are going to do anything worthwhile against my push, but yeah. We'll see how it goes. Moment of truth. Can I? Oh, yeah, we're absolutely decimating them. But, oh, no, they are they are holding in a few places. But that's mostly where the river line is. Yeah, I just encircled, like, 50-plus divisions. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, there's 411k manpower in this little pocket right here. Personally, my favorite thing about invading the Soviet Union is uh, they won't surrender. So you need to send your little light tanks over to Tashkent. What a wonderful place, I imagine, in the mountainous desert! Oh, the Soviets actually capitulated, but, um, app apparently, our little friend down in the Caucasus, he's, uh, he's never going to surrender. Never mind, got atomic research, and he quickly peaced out. Okay, what do I have to say about this mod? Well, for starters, uh, it's very, very, very early. Uh, there's, there's so little in it that I literally had to start World War II in 1941 or whatever because I, I already owned half of Europe before I got all of Germany back, which is, uh, I'm just gonna say there probably needs to be a bit more work on it because, um, you shouldn't be able to get all of Europe without nobody having a problem with it. Anyway, not the worst mod I have seen on the workshop. It's uh, pretty fun to stomp on people, of course, but uh, I, I don't know if I'll be revisiting this unless it really gets some more work done on it. It was a 
fun scenario, I guess, but it was it just it just needs work. Um, anyway, if you liked the video, feel free to leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and give me another suggestion for any mods or any other nations played in this mod, and I'll consider it. But I, I think we've seen enough here for a millennia.